Hi everyone, so this is a rundown of the template I've just finished making and it's uh, the team workflow and project planning template. So this is if you're in a team of people or even by yourself and you're working maybe for an organization or on some freelance stuff and you have lots and lots of tasks to do, this template should help you out in getting nice and organized. So let's have a look. We've got some instructions on this page here and a basic description, but this is a video so we're just going to dive straight in and explain it. We've got the main database, the team page, and the projects page. So we'll go straight into the main database. Now this is where all of your tickets are going to live. Um, I'm going to call them tickets for now. You might call them issues or whatever, whatever you want really, uh, but I'll just refer to them as tickets. So we've got some instructions on here. Um, that explains how to use the database and then we've got the properties of the database with all the explanations on there um, But let's just dive into a ticket. So let's do this one first. So this one says create a test ticket So in here all the properties we've got we've got reporter. That's whoever raised the ticket uh, The date and time it was raised the ticket number that is a notion formula that is based on the date and time it was raised so if you click on there and you can see the formula uh, based on date raised and then this bit at the end here just takes the last four digits and replaces them with nothing because the last four digits were always zero 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 so what's the point in having those all the time um, assignee you can see the tickets assigned to myself so anyone else on your team you just click in there assign it to them um, the client slash service um, this can be yeah, explanatory self-explanatory this is the client that you're working for or the service that you're working on you can rename that to whatever you want um, project I will leave that one blank for just a second I will explain that when we go into the projects page but basically uh, you can have a project which would be like the big overarching kind of like if you've used Jira before it would be an epic in Jira um, and then you can link all the tickets to that the due date when is the ticket due uh, the type so we've got change bug and new service that's what's built in but feel free to add any more uh, attach any files is the ticket chargeable yes or no the status of the ticket so we've got open in progress testing await go live place live and then we've got reopened so reopened is if something's gone wrong in the testing and you need to look at it again um, they can be changed in there or you can just drag and drop them into a new bit in sprint so this bit I will explain in a bit more detail again in a moment but this um, adds, what's the easiest way to describe this? So if a ticket is in the sprint, it means it's in your current sprint workload. So a sprint can be like a week of work or a month of work, whatever you decide as a team. Um, and if this ticket is in the sprint, it means, okay, I'm going to be focusing on this ticket inside this time period. So I usually work in weeks. So this ticket I will be focusing on this week. Next bit we have got... Uh, parent tasks and subtasks. So this is nice. This links two tickets together So you can have a parent task and then you can add a bunch of subtasks into it and you know Okay, I've got to get all these tasks done before this main ticket can be sent to testing um, If you click on there you can see it's linked to that one Link the project database with the main database. So if I come out of here It's this ticket here and you can see that this one has got a parent task of create a test ticket which is the one that we were just in. Yeah, so that's a nice useful feature. Uh, labels, we can add anything that we want, waiting on client, on hold, blocked, anything else that you might want to add in there. Um, blocks and is blocked by works the same way as parent tasks and subtasks. Uh, if one ticket is stopping another one from being completed, then you say, okay, this one is blocking that one, and then it'll be reflected on either ticket. And then story point estimate, um, some teams use this, uh, we don't at the moment, but it might be a good idea to. But basically you can have um, points based on whatever number system you want and yeah, give each ticket a number of points or how many hours you think it might take to complete the ticket. And then you can kind of gauge how much work you can do in each sprint. Um, and then at the bottom here, I've just added a description and any other little tasks that you might want to do. Um, and then if you're working in a team, you want to add all your comments into this section here and there you can tag people and people can have a conversation inside that little section. So that is all the properties of the main database. In here I've got a placed live archive which also appears here. So if I move that I have built the template so we're going to move that to place live. 
it appears in there but here is a little bit messy you just get like a rundown of all the tickets so what I've done is if we go into place live archive then you'll see them in a nice table view which is a bit easier and then you can filter and sort them however you like so let's go back to the main database um, right I think that's everything on there so right assignee that's going to be the next bit so whoever you assign it to is going to affect the next page so if we go back to the main page we have got the team page so if we click on here so in the team page you have got um, pages here for different members of your team sorry it took me a while to think of what I was trying to say there so yeah you've got different pages there for different members of your team so I've got a page for myself and then here's a copy of my tickets of my page um, so you would just duplicate my page and then assign it to a different member so I'll show you how to do that now so you've got Will's tickets so in here this is showing a relational database um, sorry a linked database so it's showing the tickets database that we saw first um, and anything I do in here will be reflected in that main tickets database so this shows all the tickets that are in the current sprint that's the important bit there that are assigned to me so create a test ticket this is in the current sprint and so it shows up in here um, if you have a look at the filter you can see where assignee contains me and in sprint is ticked so if I took it out of the current sprint if I decided no I don't want to work on this now I'm gonna take it out the current sprint and then it's gone so if we want to look at where it's gone it will be sitting there in the backlog and we'll go and look at that in a second so copy of Will's tickets in this bit you would just assign this to insert team name here and you go to filter where assign he contains and you just change the name in there so create as many of those pages as you want and then each team member has a separate page that they can just look at and see all the tickets that they have to do in their current sprint um, right let's go to unassigned tickets obviously tickets where this ticket is not assigned so if I put somebody in there oh, we've got a couple of names in there if I put someone in there then uh, it would come out of this section and go to that team members page specifically and then the last bit here is the backlog so the backlog shows all the tickets where in sprint is not ticked and as soon as the ticket is added to the sprint it gets added to that users board if it's assigned if it's not assigned it will go to the unassigned page so where's the one that we had build a template we'll create a test ticket so let's do that one and build a template that one there we go so just because I've ticked those now it's moved them out of the backlog and if we go back into here unassigned tickets you can see there's two in there now and let's go back into my page and you see create a test ticket is back in there so that is the main functionality and if we go all the way back to the main page this is the bit that I've just built today we've got a projects page so projects page the table has a view for all of the projects and then it's got a view to show just the active ones so this is the view for all the projects right now so projects would be like your big big projects like I don't know you've got a new client and you have to do 10 20 100 pieces of work for them you just make the project in here and then we can make the tickets so let's change it to active projects so it shows only the ones which are active and we've got this project spec database so what I've done is I've made a template a new project template but we'll just go into here and we'll see what the template looks like let's open this as a page make it a bit bigger so we can see that the project is active and then we've got this little relational uh, property here so what that means is that we have linked this um, this page this row in the database with the tickets database and it might get a little bit messy up here if you've got lots of them linked but that's okay that's why I made the project list if we go back one more that's why I made this kind of neat and tidy here so you wouldn't see all the tickets it's related to but if we go in there and we scroll down to the bottom quick you can see we've got related open tickets so we'll have a nice um, table view of all the tickets that are related to this project but not just all the tickets going to be all the tickets that aren't completed so if you go to the filter you can see where project contains and then this is the project and status is not placed live so as soon as the ticket gets placed live 
it can come out of here. So we don't need to know about it anymore. We've done the work, it is live, it is done. So I'll have a quick look through the rest of the project quickly. Um, we've got the summary of the project, type it up there. Timeline and milestones, you just put in you know, the dates. You've got, is it discovery, planning, what are you doing? These are just like the big, big things that you need to hit. So you put those in there. Um, updates. So on the updates, you just click on a note to use it and you just give kind of your weekly updates on the work you've maybe been doing. You just pop it in here, you've got a summary, anything that's blocking the work, um, what you delivered and what you're gonna do next week. Let's move back to this one, meeting notes. Click on a note to open it, use this page to document any meetings um, about the project. So got a little template in there. I was a participant in this meeting and is it a stand-up meeting or is it a weekly sync or whatever other type of meeting you might have. And again, nice and simple, you've got the agenda, any notes and then the action items. Um, you could then turn those action items into new tickets. Uh, research. So nice blank page, put all your research in here. Super simple. And then the last little bit here, retrospective. So this bit, you've got, um, you would do this at the end of a project. So the project's all finished, all the tickets are complete. You have a nice retrospective. You look back at the project and you think, okay, what went right? What went wrong? Uh, what did we learn? And what actions are we gonna take? So the actions, throw a team event, give your favorite sysadmin a beer. Um, and then you've got this bit, votes. So if you've got like a team of nine people, this is how many people like agree with doing that. Or how you could use it, how many people agree with doing that action or um, what's the other way to think about it? Uh, the, the Which one's most important? So you could say, okay, this one's like a level four or whatever, but um, we've put it to a number nine on there. Um, so yeah, and then kudos, who do you want to name in your team for being awesome? That's a really nice thing to put at the end of the project, uh, just so that people kind of feel appreciated and maybe you can see who's done really good work. And if they're doing really good work on every project, then um, give them a pay rise. Right, let's go back to the project spec. Um, so you've got your team, you just pop it on there. Again, add any more stuff you might need. Problem statement, why are you doing this project? Um, success metrics, how will you know if the project is successful? What is in scope? So what are you gonna work on right now? What is out of scope? Um, so it's stuff that would be nice to have, but you're not gonna do right now. Um, bit of risk management here. So what could possibly go wrong? And then just any open questions about the project and then you can tick them off when you're done with them. So that is, I think, just about everything. That is a whole rundown of the workflow. Um, yeah, so I hope that kind of makes sense and isn't too complicated. When you get some more people added to your team, it becomes really useful for everyone to have their own separate view. So at the moment, I've got a few 100% off codes for this. Um, I'm selling the whole template for, it's only eight pounds, um, but I've got some 100% off codes for anyone who wants to try it out and give me some feedback. And then I've got some 50% off codes for early access. And then, yeah, once they're all gone, it'll be um, eight pounds or anything more than that that you'd like to pay, of course. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed that and I hope you download the template and sort of add it to your team and yeah, have fun. <laughs>